Hi, I'm Mark Whiting. I want to talk to you a little bit about grading efficiencies and productivity on your job site. The first thing we're going to do is come in and draw a nice ground plane. And let's bring in a track type tractor. And in front of that tractor, we've got some delivered material that's going to be spread evenly and uniformly by that tractor to start building our embankment and getting it ready for compaction. So as that tractor starts to travel, you'll see that uniform grade going down and it's being held by GPS. So let's continue our demonstration on grading, grading applications and technologies on your job site. So we'll come in and draw a nice ground plane. That ground plane will come in and let's bring a motor grader in. Bring that motor grader in. That motor grader is going to be equipped with GPS. That GPS is going to allow for about an inch and a half tolerance, plus or minus, to give you a close, fine grade finish. Let's zoom in on that blade. And now let's watch that blade work. As you notice, that blade's got a little bit of movement in it, but not a lot. We're getting closer to that fine grade application. Fine grade application, let's go look at that. So we're going to bring in our same motor grader. We're going to equip that motor grader with what we call UTS. UTS requires a universal total station. That universal total station actually locks on to that motor grader. As that motor grader starts to travel, it'll lock it into millimeter accuracy. So let's take a closer look at how that motor grader works. As you watch that blade, we'll start grading. And as you can see, there's very little movement in that blade. With that application, we've achieved our millimeter accuracy, giving you the desired grade that you need. 